Hi guys, this is Eric and Tina from Gone Nomad. We're a full-time RVing couple. Um, a lot of you are familiar with our YouTube channel and has watched a lot of our videos. Um, that's Coda bumping the camera. She's uh, our two-year-old black lab. Don't mind her. Yeah, she might be walking in and out of frame here. Um, basically, the reason we're doing this video today, we are just super, super excited about a, a revolutionary new way to camp. And uh, I know, you know, revolutionary is a pretty strong word, but uh, this whole peer-to-peer -peer sharing, um, e-commerce, you know, everything from, you know, Uber is, is kind of that, uh, Airbnb. Yeah. They're, it's really gaining momentum, and it's just awesome because it's putting a segment of the economy um, that was previously held by corporations or large businesses into um, a small entrepreneur's hands whether it's subletting out your apartment or using your vehicle as a taxi service. Right. This, this concept is coming to the camping industry and the benefits are through the roof, I mean, as far as people to make income. And as far as us, the full-timers, the campers themselves, the, the benefits are awesome. Uh, one of the biggest being, you know, cost of living. Um, for us to be on the road full time, you know, and spending that thirty-five, forty dollars a night at some of the nicer campgrounds, or, or twenty-five a night at a, at a state park, we're that able. To, up. Yeah, absolutely, and we're able to go onto one of these sites and find somebody that has a horse ranch or a ranch property near the area, the tourist attractions that we want. Um, we'll be the only camper there, maybe only one or two campers. And it's going to be for like two or three hundred dollars a month, and, and a lot of them are full hookup. They have Wi-Fi. Uh, it's just crazy exciting on the, on the financial side of it alone. Yeah, exactly. So the thing that we're running into the last couple of months is the availability of a place to stay. The, the campsites are, you know, and whether we've noticed it at state parks. Oh, it's state parks. It's campgrounds. It's even we boondock. A lot and a lot of the boondocking areas are now become overpopulated a lot of times yeah we'll stay at BLM land or state land and we'll dry camp um, and you know there's no reservation fee or system you don't have to pay anything to stay on these properties um, obviously you're not going to get any hookups or anything like that but it's so saturated to the point that you know all the campgrounds are full state parks are full well now that's bleeding over into a lot of the state and the, and the public land Right. So camping is getting crowded, to say the least. And with that being said, that also leads to spending a lot of time either on the phone or on the internet trying to find places that may be available. Yeah, and it, it kind of takes the spontaneity out of this lifestyle when you know exactly. we've, we've got to book a reservation six months in advance or a year in advance to stay you know, in a state park uh, near the mountains or near a tourist attraction. or Right. So obviously there's a supply and demand issue there. Um, so the, the beauty of this is you're going to have all these landowners coming online and renting their driveway, their backyard, their, you know, range land, farmland, businesses, vineyards, wineries, it's endless. Yes. So all this land is going to become available. It's not going to be as crowded. It's going to be every scale that you can think of. It's going to be from basic dry camping for maybe $5 a night all the way to we've seen some ads where people are letting you use their heated pool and their exercise room and their bathroom their barbecue, and kitchen. And, I mean, you name it. it you know, for $100 a night. Um, and that's all up to the host. And it, it's great, too, because it's adding a, a personal touch that's been missing in camping. Um you know, we've talked about it before. I, I always question when did camping turn into this, you know, I want to get out to nature, I want to be in my camper, and I get everything ready and packed up and I'm sitting in a campground with, you know, 500 other campers around me on five acres of property. It's just right on top of you. That's, that's not camping, no, you know. That's no. not why we all do this. Um, we all do this to get out and slow life down a little bit and, and just to spend some time outdoors. So staying on somebody's property you're getting this intimate relationship with them as hosts they're going to give you you know tourist attraction listings uh oh, with restaurants everything that's well, in the area exactly yeah. um and it's all up to the the host as far as 
accommodations go. I mean, how far they want to go learning. Yeah, things. that's the beauty of, of a bed and breakfast. That's why people, it's been so popular for so many years is you're not staying in that commercial hotel or that campground owned by, you know, a big conglomerate. You're going into somebody's, you know, personal life and there's going to be cases where they're going to invite you in for dinner or offer to take you around and see sites or... They might have hiking trails or they might have animals on their farm that you can, you know, they'll give you a tour or it, it's really unlimited as far as that goes. You know, that's the other avenue of this. Um, the creativity that's going to come into this is, is you're going to have small business owners, farmers, ranchers. They're going to offer a discounted rate if you're going to give them a few hours of labor voluntarily right. or help out. Um, so the whole work to camp program, I mean, that's a full timer, you know, plus right there that, that a lot of full timers are looking for other ways to stay cheaper right. um, or make some more money on the road. So, you know, top to bottom, it is just, just so, so exciting to, to see this on the horizon. Um, from what we've seen, this website, it's, it's kind of in its infancy. Uh, there's a few properties. And I, I just can't imagine in, you know, a couple of years where, where this is going to oh, go. how far this is going to go. You'll be able it's, to, you know, pretty much camp anywhere you want um, without but, being crowded. And well, that's just the exciting thing, especially for us, you know, just the ability to hop on the Internet and see, okay, I'm going to be in this area. Oh, there's 10 different spots available. Yeah. So, you know, a great thing about it is you're, you're bringing people together that, you know, not only in the camping community, but the outdoor community. So you're going to have people that are just avid bikers and they've got bike trails, um, horseback, ATVs. So you're going to show up to somebody's house and they've got trails and stalls and maybe they'll rent you out a stall for the weekend while you have your horses there. Right. Uh, you've got the dog people. Um, we Numerous love dogs. dog people out there. Uh, so now imagine, you know, we want to go on a hike or something and they're going to offer maybe for an extra 10 bucks or 20 bucks. It's up to them to dog sit our dogs for a day or two. Right. Uh, vice versa. If they're at work for the day, um, we can offer to, to pet sit for them or the opportunities are just endless. It, it is. Really you know? it is. You know, and that comes back to the campgrounds too. They've got a lot of restrictions. Which we've noticed also. Um, a lot of them that are out there. No. It's for it's for fifty five and older community. If not that, some may have pet restrictions where you can bring pets, but they can't be a certain breed, or you can't even have them at all. Boondock, you know, here's another issue. We we spend probably a fifty fifty, maybe a seventy thirty percent in campgrounds, and the other you know thirty percent dry um, camping, dry camping or boondocking. One of the biggest issues I've always had with that is a security issue, and I know a lot of campers, you know, struggle with this. Right. Uh, if I'm going to leave my camper sit there for a week, obviously we're going to come and go for supplies. Um, we might go for a full day hike. There's been times we've wanted to go backpacking for a day or two where we right. actually spend the night. We don't dare do that because everything we own is sitting on state non-policed land or, or federal land. Right, you just don't have that sense of security because your stuff's just right there for anybody to have access to. And, and there's been a lot, you know, I've heard more and more stories of, of vandalism and uh, crime. The crime rate and Happening in these, these boondocking environments. And we just ran into a couple the other day. Um, seemed like a nice enough guy, seemed great, but uh, it just kind of paints the picture for, for what's out there. There's a lot of people living in their camper full-time out of necessity right, right um because they lost their home because you know they don't have a job so whatever hardships they went through right yeah so you're seeing a lot of people out there barely getting by and i'm you know i'm not judging them or whatever but there definitely seems to be a lot of a lot of a lot of homeless people you know per se, per se living right. out of their van their car <clears throat> well they're staying at the same places that you know a lot of us are camping right so if you're sitting on a private individual's property um, at a discounted rate, not being crowded, and now suddenly they're watching your camper every day. How great is that? I mean... And, it, and if somebody does come on their property, well, at that point, they're trespassing. Right, so, exactly. So, so there, obviously there's some legal recourse there at that point. Right. So that's just one more benefit, why, why we're you know super excited about this. Um, the other side of it, as a former business owner, I'm just crazy excited about the opportunities for people. Oh. 
said Coda. Um, you know, I've always wanted to own a campground, and oh, yes. we've owned property in the past. And the ability to kind of break into it small and have a couple of sites. The, the beauty of it is you can try it in your area and see if it works. You know, five, ten bucks a night with no hookups. At the end of the year, holy cow, I did, did $400, you know. That helps my taxes. Well, now I'm going to string a little bit of power out there. I'm going to clear another site. I'm going to build a, a fire pit. Um, well, now I can charge more. Right. So, How far you want to go, that's totally up to you. Yeah, exactly. So, I mean, in, you know, five years' time, I've got 10 sites that are booked all the time, and I'm getting $40 a night, and I love the people that are coming and going, and right. I'm getting return campers. And exactly. Coda, you can't hit the camera. No. <clears throat> so, it's just it's a just phenomenal opportunity. Um, and I think, like you know, like we said before, at, at this point, it's kind of in its... In its infancy yes so you know our experience from going out to recreate an account there's not a lot of properties to choose from and I guess that's kind of why we're doing this video because right. we're so excited about this yes and we don't have any affiliation with with uh, the company or anything at this it's just point something we stumbled on and an, it's an idea that we've had yeah so you know spread the create an account you never know I mean there's gonna be stuff in your area you're gonna find uh, properties you right. might be going somewhere on a destination look at it and see if there's anything you're interested in but the biggest thing is if you own an RV uh, you own some property you know anybody with some property man it, it's free to sign up and I think they take a small percentage of the reservation or something right, just a small percentage it's you know, you get a full scheduling calendar. It just, it looks totally awesome. You're getting the benefit of being advertised nationally instead of just sticking a sign in your front yard <laughs> saying, you know, you can And hope here. that somebody drives by or... Right. So it's really, really awesome. And I can't wait to watch this thing and, and see it grow because it's it's just going to open up so many opportunities for, for us as campers. Right. You know? And I'm just so excited about the availability, not being a problem, meeting new people, like-minded people, campers, just amazing people. There's so many amazing people out there. And if it is possibly, maybe it's a homestead where they make their own cheese or... Oh, the, the businesses that are going to get on this and, and expose people to, you know, way of life, the right. product. They can uh, teach you things for, you know, for a discounted rate. You can stay there and you help them. I mean, how awesome is yeah, that? Yeah, a small little organic farm or something. You can stay there for, you know, 100 bucks for the month, but you have to help out and learn. It's harvest time, okay? You can help us harvest. Yeah, the, the potential is just, just totally awesome. You can't, I'm really excited. It's, it's going to be pretty cool. Yeah. So that's a quick uh, um, description about this new form of, I mean, it is just, it's revolutionary. It is, it yes. is going to, it's going to do to the camping, and it's going to be a whole new form of camping. It's going to rock the camper's world. It's the coolest thing to happen since they started putting slides on campers. I mean, <laughs> uh, it's going to be a whole new way of thinking how to recreate um, on weekends and, and long term. I mean, And keep the fun of it, too. Yeah, yeah. So the name of the company is RVWithMe.com. Um, I'm going to put a link in the description, but it's really easy to remember. Go to their website. Create, uh, you know, an account. Uh, Post this video or, or post a link to their site on Facebook. Uh, get the word out there because this is this is some pretty cool stuff. Definitely. And, Help spread uh, the word. Yeah. If you want to follow our story, um, just search on YouTube for Gone Nomad or do a Google search for Gone Nomad. Dot. Or go to GoneNomad.net. And you can follow our story, our progression of, of becoming uh, full-time uh, RVers and kind of follow us as we, we move forward. So appreciate your time. Thank you very much. See you guys. Thanks.